today we're moving the ducks on the fresh grass. Probably like the biggest one we have, right? So we are gonna keep them in this chicken tractor. This is the first ever chicken tractor that we built for our meat chickens a couple years ago. And we've actually used it for ducks in the past as well. So we've got poultry netting uh, set up all around. And then they'll be able to have feed and water in here Baby and shelter. Okay. Yeah, that's the biggest one. There you go. Walk a little slow so I can help them make sure it doesn't get tangled. Keep going. Hold on. Okay, so we just did all that work to move the ducks out on grass. And then we're sort of thinking about it like, is it too early? And we've come to the conclusion that we did move them out too early. So now we're going to move them back in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I guess the reason is it's still kind of cold at night. Although we were sort of comparing them to the chickens. Like chickens can go out around three weeks. The ducks are two weeks old. We put, did put a heat lamp out there, but I think it's still going to be too cold. They're not as feathered out as they should be. So I think we're going to do one more week, kind of let the colder weather pass, and we'll see how it goes after that. So we're cleaning out the brooder. Going to put fresh bedding in and put the ducks back in. Hooray! <laughs> Just a little outside playtime. Just a little taste of the rain. And I'll get them back. Back in we go. I hope my opening cut doesn't get infected by duck poo. <laughs> Don't touch duck poo. Poor <laughs> and baby. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> they look like little puppets. <laughs> okay, so we're putting them back in for how long? I mean, as long as they're not stinking up the place. I mean, another week at least, right? And then they'll be okay to go out? Yeah, a week or two, we'll see how their feathers come in, I guess. I was mostly concerned with how nasty it was in there, so cleaning it out, putting fresh bedding down, hopefully that helps. Okay. Okay, so since we have an overabundance of eggs, and let me just show you. <laughs> uh, how, many, how many dozen eggs do you think are in this basket? hundred. <laughs> it's probably right. What we're going to do is blend up eggs. Like we just threw them in there whole. They're kind of dirty. Um, and we're going to feed that to our chickens. So that's the entire egg. They're gonna get the shell, they're gonna get the yolk, all of it, and it's gonna be really good for them. I don't know if anyone else <laughs> does this, um, but we have so many eggs, and so we're gonna reuse them back to the chickens. Doesn't look like hey, buddy. <laughs> Ooh! 
You can do that again? Where's the rooster stick? Can, I, can we use Rowan? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you not Ignore want him. this? Ignore him. You can barely see them in this tall grass, but the babies are laying down next to each other. They're so cute. So one of the things that Jeremy's working on this week is another chicken tractor. We have <clears throat> about 120 meat birds. They're all in one chicken tractor currently, and that's too many. Oh, climbing the stairs. I gotta catch my breath. Um, <laughs> so we're building a second chicken tractor. We'll divide them into two and they'll be good. Probably doesn't like that. <laughs> Time for morning chores. This is where we keep all of our feed. There's no alfalfa. Aw, oh, bummer. We're gonna have to open another bag. So what are you scooping? Alfalfa for the cows. Taco, our little barn kitty. Yep. Food for the meat chickies. Put it out of water. Huh. Yeah, so it's lift and push it down. Hey, Smokey. Bandit. Where you gonna go? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> So the chickens were just here, and now they're going to be moved over here. They're about two days behind the cows, so the cows have pooped all over there, and the chickens will work on scratching it and spreading it, helping fertilize this field. They're all waiting for something. They know something's happening. <laughs> they want to get moved. So we're actually going to be setting up their next paddock on the other side of this fence. So they're gonna get all this tall grass over here for the next couple days. Okay, milk sled's getting moved over. Happy cows. Are you almost finished with this build? No. I thought you were almost finished. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, close. We have to finish putting the metal on two more sides and then I've got to build the lids and that's it. So two lids will cover the front here. All right. So we're close. Yeah. Does we're that mean I'll lose my today. feet? Yep. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.